No, 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 no. There is one rehouse that is long overdue and it is a rehouse of uh, these Huntsman spiders that I'm keeping in these now way, way, way too small cups. So today we will be doing that. And also after that I'm going to give you an update on this spider species that is quickly starting to be one of my favorite uh, non-torrential spiders in the dark den. And it is the Eresus species something, I'm really not sure about the species name, but yeah I'm going to update you and maybe we will try to feed this little feisty fella. Uh, at the end of the video. But first, as I said, Huntsman Spider Rehouse and also I'm not really sure what is the species name, the scientific name, uh, but as always it will be written down so you can google it if you want to see how they look when they are bigger or if you want some additional information about them. But let me show you. Because there are one awesome fellas, you see, there's the first Huntsman and also we have two more that are basically the same. Uh, you see, that's the second one and the final one, the third one. Here it is and I don't really like the, the position of his body. Now, I received them as babies. When they were small, they were extremely, extremely, I mean when they were smaller, they were extremely fast and I was struggling with feeding them because they would, as soon as I would open the enclosure, they would start to bolt and in comparison to tarantulas, their bolts are on a completely different level. But I noticed that as they molted twice, now they are far more uh, not so active. Maybe it is because it is small enclosure and although, meh, I don't know, but I don't trust them, even though they appear to be chill. So now I need three cork barks. I have three enclosures right here. Uh, you see, we are going to use these standard plastic ones that I'm using that I can no longer get. That is a bit, a bit unfortunate because they are super practical. As you know, once you close them, they stuck on top, you see, just like that. So really cool, really cool. I need to find some appropriate cord barks. Uh, yeah, something like that. But also it shouldn't be too big, you see. Too big, although I can break it. But I'm pretty sure that I have some pieces that are a bit smaller. Because as you see, the selection of my smaller cord bark pieces is quite decent, right? Maybe this one. Mm. This way spider can go on both sides. Yeah, this is... First candidate, I need two more. Second one, awesome. And third, perfect. I'm loving it. So, are you jealous of my, my wood? <laughs> it's a great stack of wood. And here is the substrate, the plain old cocoa fiber, you see. We're just gonna dump that in and start with the rehouse. Compress all of that nicely. Mm, I need some water. And the first enclosure is ready for the spider. Now the fun part begins. A part where we discover how bolty these guys actually are. Now, right? Oh ho, oh ho, oh ho! Catch cup. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. They jump. I told you that I don't trust them. Oh. I would like to say that I have everything under control, but honestly, I don't. Not at oh no! Stop awaiting the catch cup. Go yes. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. Oh, and he's also leaving the trail of silk. But you see, the way they move, they don't just—they have like those tuk 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 tuk. That is really uncomfortable to handle. Ah, let's let's do. Let's carry on. I just want him to go down. I'm hoping that once he reaches the cork bark. Okay, stop now. <laughs> this was harder than I than I expected. You see this mean little guy. He's not like extremely fast, but just the way they are running, it is just super uncomfortable to deal with. And you see how well he, he fits this cork bark. You can barely spot him, right? Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. But all right, first one down, <laughs> two more to go. Now at least I know what to expect. I can definitely expect more teleporting bolts. Water. And let's go. Maybe this guy will be a bit more chill. Hmm. I was hoping to get them chill on my hand, 
but it seems like that won't happen. No. On the court back, come on. Get off the... He really needs to make this difficult. Yes, okay. I'll stop there. There we go. This was a bit easier, right? And we can check it out a bit better, a bit closer. Yeah, crazy how they fit well, the, the cork bark. Their camouflage is so good. Maybe I should grab a... No, 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 it's moving. I wanted to say that maybe I should grab the... Or can I? I want to grab a macro lens to see if I can record it a bit better. Yeah, there is a lot of distortion through the plastic and camera is kind of struggling. And also you can see how with every heartbeat my hands shake a bit, so... But not bad, not bad. It would be best if I could get him outside on the bigger cork bark and then record it. That would be the best. Through the plastic is like, eh, not that good. And last enclosure, last rehouse in this video. First one was hectic, second one was... Ooh, this one is on the move already. So first one was hectic, second one was kinda easy. So I wonder how the third one will be, but judging how Spider is already on the move, I don't have high expectations. All right, but maybe we can make this a bit more interesting. Let's see if I can get Spider to cross my hand into the enclosure. Sounds like a challenge, right? A challenge indeed. Poke, 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 poke. Okay. No, 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 no. That is not across my hand. That is around. That was on completely different. Oh, not there, not there, dude. I see that you are trying to cheat. Oh no. No, 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 no. Right. So far so good. This is one chiller ham. I almost said hamster just as it jumped. In the cup, go, go. How do I keep failing? No, 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 no. I'm so afraid not to crush it. It is running so weirdly. It is hard to predict where it will go. Climb the cup, buddy. Okay, all right, all right. Now we go down. I said now we go down. I said now... Okay, it's all right. Because he fell down. Look. <laughs> nice, although their coloration is nothing impressive. Yeah, but there is one species of huntsman spiders that actually looks super sweet. But I'm not actually familiar how this species looks when, when it's matured. Maybe they also change their appearance a bit. I don't know. Look at those eyes. Hmm? Pretty cool. And the abdomen is just... Eh, nothing special going on. But another rehouse, even though it was a bit hectic at start, it ended up successfully. Yay! And I think it was enjoyable to watch. Now to close the last guy before it starts to, yeah, it is bolting now. So we can now check the RS species. And I think that I still want to use the macro lens. Yeah, I will keep that. Because it is a tiny spider and it is potentially better to record it on macro lens, but oh. <laughs> Why are you way down there? She's often chilling on top. Oh, you see, she's now coming out. It almost seems like this species is kind of curious to see what is Ah, oh, camera, focus. It is focusing, but on the wrong stuff. So what I was saying, it seems like it is kind of curious to see what is happening. I will try to get her out with one roach. Even though she is currently a bit more on a chunky side, <laughs> she really likes food. So I think that she will grab her one roach. Let's see. Ooh, you see how she reacts. She's crazy. She is waiting on that roach. <laughs> Do, do, do. Whoop. <laughs> Whoa, awesome shot. This is awesome. She just casually grabbed it. This is awesome. Let's see if I can get a better recording with macro lens. Oh, just as she pulled that roach down. Damn. <laughs> but I think you could see her very well on this camera. She's now once again down here. <laughs> awesome. Well, this was really cool, right? <laughs> Awesome. I didn't expect to get a recording that is that good. But we did everything except I have one letter that I want to open before we end the video. And I also think that I have one package that is sitting on the on my P.O. box. Yeah. Hmm, stickers. Let's see from who it is. Weasley, thank you for the letter and for the stickers. And 
I, in next filling video I will definitely fit some assassin bugs just for you. But the rest of you, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!